My name is Barbara Wyth. I live in Lake Superior on Madeline Island. Hmm. I've come... Why do you manage that? Yes. <laughs> well, we always say Lake Superior before we say Madeline Island. Uh, and I come here speaking for northern Wisconsin. I'm speaking for people like the Odaveros, 126-year-old family farm business sitting on the edge of the mine site. I speak for the Native Americans at uh, Bad River, La Couture, uh, Red Cliff, Mole Lake, St. Croix, all the other Lake Superior bands. I speak for the elected officials of the Lake Superior Basin. I speak for at least 84% of us. And this is a headline that was in the Ashland Daily Press last week saying that most respondents of the survey opposed GTAC mine. 84% absolutely not. Now, I heard a lot of questions today about why would they put this legislation through. I heard uh, the woman who just spoke say um, people, citizens have a right to wake up and know that they're going to have tap water. Well, let me tell you the, the terror that we feel up north about this high capacity well drill, well bill. Everyone's talked about agriculture. No one's talked about mining. No one's talked about the uh, the amount of water that GTAC won't tell us that they need for mining. No one talks about the fact that throughout all the testimony in that mining bill, majority, well uh, uh, of the majority, did not want that mining bill turned into law, and yet it did. Why did it? Well, we know why, because GTAC wrote the bill, GTAC paid for the legislation, and GTAC got their wish. Now, it's our belief when we saw this bill coming out again, oh, quick, get the bill through, we need certainty for GTAC. Well, we have none. We, the citizens of northern Wisconsin, have no certainty, and we don't have any faith in our government anymore because we have paramilitary militia patrolling our hills, a private paramilitary militia firm. We have a managed forest crop bill that was going to uh, give all of that benefit to the corporation. And that's what this bill is about, and make no mistake, I, I, I so appreciate the people who can still have the kind of faith that you have in coming here and speaking in the measured terms with Mr. Kedzie and Mr. Tiffany if he were here, but he's not. But we don't. We're terrified. We're terrified of our government because they've pushed this mine into one of the most pristine watersheds in this state. And now this high capacity well bill will allow GTAC to have free reign over our watershed. And we understand there's a lot of corporations that are supporting this. Uh, the kind farmers talked about, Dole, uh, other food corporations, but we also know there's Nestle, there's Perrier, there's a whole bunch of corporations waiting in the wing for this bill to go through to come up and start to steal our water. Now the Odaveros, if that mine goes through and is permitted, will lose their water. They have, I, I don't know how much cattle they have, but it was 500 gallons per cow a day, I think. Who is going to fill that? We have small organic ag uh, agricultural farm businesses up there that are, went from 30000 a year to over six figures in the past few years growing. Th those wells will run dry. All of the people that are around that well site, uh, that mine site, their wells will go dry. Madeline Island is actually, uh, here's the mine site, here's, we're, we'll, we'll be the recipients of the worst pollution uh, that will come off that mine. So these two things are going hand in hand, and I didn't hear anybody <coughs> in this room talk about mining. So we oppose the mining bill, the mining law. We're going to begin working on repealing of that illegal and immoral law. We oppose this. We oppose GTAC's free reign of our hills. We oppose the managed forest crop the bill that you pulled back. Uh, now what, Scott Suter's in charge of water? The same guy who granted $500,000 a year to the fake United Sportsmen's Group? Think past what you know. Educate yourselves on what's going on in this inner circle of this government. You've stolen our democracy, and you're trying to steal our water now, and this aggression will not stand. 
And when you pass this, because we know you're going to, can we stop pretending there's going to be more committees that are going to talk about this and we're going to come to a fair and equitable place? We know you're not. We know you're going to pass it on party lines. We know you're going to push it through. And please, if that doesn't happen, if you guys get together and actually pull in the public and, and take into people's consideration and protect the people of the state like you were elected to do, I'll eat my words. I'll, I'll do whatever you want. But it's not going to happen. You know it's not going to happen. And you know it's not going to happen. So that's my message today. And, and I stand by those words. And when you start calling us eco-terrorists because we're protecting our water and our land, you're the ones that will be the eco-terrorists. But we're the ones that will be the other, arrested and thrown in jail. So thank you very much. Any questions? If not, thank you for your testimony.